Hey guys, so I just got a comment asking me, hey, where's the last bit of your book? You didn't never finish this Deaf Mistress full review. You just did part one and never finished it. So I was reading the comment. I was like, oh, that was back like last year or years ago. Surely I finished. No, I never did. I am so sorry. Thank y'all so much for informing me in that comment, you viewer who watches me. I did not know I did not finish talking to y'all about the book. <laughs> I finished this book like a year ago. <laughs> and I don't know why I demand a video on it. I made so many videos, I'm, I just did not think about it no more. Okay, so yeah, I'll finish it up. I have to quickly refresh myself on it because it's been a while since I finished it. But yeah, um, wizards, dragons, plant women. If you want all of that, check out this book. Now, the thing I did not care about, I think, oh, now I know why I didn't finish it. I didn't finish this book because this book didn't finish itself. Okay, when I finished reading it, it didn't solve anything. Because it's going to be a series... It's like Terry changed the way he does he did things. And all of the other secret books, like this right now, I'm reading um I'm reading Naked Empire, which I want to make a video on soon after I finish reading it. This is his old style. This is with you know Richard Scyther and you know Caitlin Amnell and all that. Love this style. This style finishes the book. Like when they're done, whatever the conflict is, whatever is going on, it is finished and you feel like it's a finished book. When I was finished this book, I was a little annoyed because it didn't feel like it was done. It just it, it just ended abruptly. And I said, I know you want people to read your book afterward, but I read like you no know, number two and number three and all that and I said which they they are out now. But you gotta finish at least one story. So the whole thing is a fun ride. Um, Bannon, the little redhead guy, he becomes a complete whore. He, <laughs> he just, he gets like three girls and they're all, you know, giving him everything he ever thought he wanted. Because at first he was like kind of in love with Nikki, but Nikki like played them and they told him about, like told him this is not going to happen. And so he goes to this place that was hidden for a long time. They were hidden, but their magic failed them or something like that. And Bannon goes in there and these three girls, they all were different. Um, they look different, they probably are super sexy, and they all just want to sleep with him all the time. And they want to sleep with him all the time because they want to get pregnant because their head mistress or head librarian wants them to get pregnant because she never got pregnant or she couldn't get pregnant. And she like kind of tells he just tell these girls like like sleep with him and they don't mind sharing him they just they all just want to get pregnant by him because she says pregnancy is like the best thing ever because she never could get pregnant and this certain place they believe in only like instead of writing down books they their memoirs or mem memory people they only remember books like they'll take this i say this is the book they read in they will sit there and study every single word of a book for a long time until the entire book is in their mind and then they'll get rid of the book and that's what these people do and they just read it and it's they take it super seriously so much so that the head mistress woman um mother killed her dad just because he didn't take it seriously and they use this knowledge to do magic and it's very dangerous because they have all these words in their heads but if they miss even one spell or one piece of the spell it can unleash all sorts of crap onto them and that's literally what happens this this one woman unleashed she, she turns herself into a plant woman she wants life she wants to be able to give life she wants life back in the forest because they used to have a big forest, but this like wasteland is eating up their entire area. Everything's just becoming a waste and it's just a wasteland. And so they, they kill the thing that's making it into a waste, which was an other wizard who only memorized his spells. And he was just sucking. He was like, he was the life drinker. He just sucked everything. They kill him. Of course, Nikki and Nathan and Bannon all kill him, which was diff was very difficult. And then this nut, the head mistress woman, turns herself into the life bringer. And so instead of the life drinker, she's the life bringer. But her life bringing is so insane. She just starts to like pump out plants. And the plants are really crazy. She turns the girls who are sleeping with Bannon 
into plant girls she kills them she 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 murders her own and she she's felt like they were her own daughters they were nice to her daughters for real but she like adopted them in her heart and she killed them and used their 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 pure blood to make this thing they're a mad plant now and she's a big giant plant and she just destroys the place she was trying to protect and of course again Nikki and Nathan abandon kill this woman and that's it's all it's a good adventure book it's good it's a good adventure book they finally kill her it's very difficult to kill her it's very hard because what happens that part was was I don't want to I don't want to give it away but it makes it requires a really big sacrifice a very big sacrifice and Nikki is surprised that she can, that she still has the ability to love. Like the love that she feels, she has to sacrifice to kill this life bringer. And the person that she loves, I say I can't say too much, or it's gonna ruin the, the ending. But the person that she loves makes it easy to do this thing. And she, Nikki is surprised that she still has the ability to love. And that's the only way to kill this woman who made a huge mistake because she memorized the book instead of actually reading the spell and that's a very bad thing to do plus they are not really gifted they are they don't have enough of the gift they're not wizards they're just doing they're just humans doing spells and so it really ain't it's not correct at all so it's a good book they take it's dragons inside of it they take a dragon's bone to kill the life drinker they need a pure dragon bone and this dragon lets them take it, not from his body, but from like the dragon graveyard. And it's a it's an adventure story. It's an adventure. So the, the bottom line is all the monsters inside of this certain book is destroyed. They're destroyed. They kill the life drinker. They kill the life bringer. They help these people. But the main the main plot, which is Nathan, why Nathan lost his powers why what's their actual mission it's just very f open because richard kind of sent them away you can kind of tell that richard was like they getting on my nerves i gotta send them away from my empire and he kind of just sent them on a very open-ended quest so that's the problem my biggest problem with the book is that it doesn't feel like it has a way to end and it's all going by this like this like kind of prophecy of trying to get nathan magic back and try to figure out what they're actually doing and the threats and just feels really open-ended like it's kind of like a never-ending story like it's just never it just like it keeps on going like it never ends like the series why the series just plays just like it, it, it will never end but the book did end but strangely so <laughs> that's my ending it's not bad it's a good one it's an adventure it's not very it's not boring at all there's no boring spots inside of it but um it does kind of remind you of other books like it, it feels kind of like terry might took some inspiration from maybe shannara you know from other just it just feels like he might have some inspiration with this certain book from other stories which is really rare because his other stories his, his um legend of secret stories are very unique where this one I kind of saw borrowed plot lines maybe some Game of Thrones, you know, some Shannara, some, some borrowed plot lines were in this book but it was still a pretty good story and I got it for free so that's even awesome so yeah like I said in all my videos I am also an author my own book is available on paperback now and it's awesome too and thank you again you for telling me that I've got to finish up this series it's been like a almost two years I think so thank you I, I really appreciate that and I wanted to actually get it done as soon as I saw the comment so here you go that's the end of <laughs> that's the end of this book series and I, I'm really I'm seriously all jokes aside I really am happy that you told me because I hate when I hate it when YouTubers do that when they make a series and never finish shit that drives me nuts and I've that's happened to me so I appreciate y'all letting me know that I was doing it too and if you see anything else like that I've done like little things that I forgot to finish because I have a lot of videos on my channel let me know and I will actually fix it so yeah so like I said I'm, a biz, I'm an author and I will talk to y'all guys later with hopefully more reviews okay guys Bye. Oh, and I'm doing a book giveaway. That's going to be another video, either after or before or after this video. So check out my book giveaway soon. It'll be coming out soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs>